Uh, so, can you tell us more about the story? <laughs> you like news, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I kind of yeah. like it. Well, we're in my mother's death. Um, well, so I'm still, I'll get to the bottom of it. I'm still angry. I'm still pissed off, so to say. Um, I don't know why would they kill her, because she's precious. So, and also, you know, she worked so hard to make me the woman that I am. Why she was never given an opportunity to enjoy the fruits that she has sowed herself, you know. So I don't feel good about that. But, well, that's life. I understand. Maybe it was meant to happen that way. So, um, well, when she died, she left me with eight of my siblings. Um, my brother has two kids that add up to ten. And my sister have a child, and uh, that made up to eleven. And my younger brother now recently had have a son, so that makes it to twelve mm. siblings that I look after. Um, from there, well, I had to come back to South Africa without having to finish my my degree, obviously. And then um, I then um, started doing those small courses. Then I got a job at South African Airways, and I worked there. And um, yeah, within a couple of weeks and months, they promoted me. And then from there. I was saving money, obviously, to finish my um, degree in uh, journalism and media studies, which I always wanted to do, you know. But in between, I was doing my modeling things, you know, entering competitions and sometimes do the fashion shows and whatsoever and whatever, a lot of stuff that I was doing. And then in 2011, I first got my real TV job where I was acting on the ETV films. Actually, I got two of those. And then after that, I got a contract with Langalicia Productions where I do their films permanently right now. So um, I'm just currently acting on the film called um, Jezebel. Uh, it's quite very uh, popular. It's about this girl who comes as a housekeeper and then she steals the husband and try to kill the wife and then get pregnant of a gardener and then claim it as a husband. So it's quite a very um, interesting story. But um, yeah, uh, um, I love every bit of it. So, so far right now, I am building my own career right now, putting everything into perspective. But the only thing that I have in my mind is to make sure that our nation is changed. Um, there's nobody who goes through the same thing that I went through. And South Africa has got so much resources that we could use, you know. So it's to now just try and work together with people that could um, work together with us. And right now I'm working with um, Mr. Ntlapo. He is uh, the president of NAFCOC in Gauteng. He's actually um, the owner of these offices that we own. I'm a head of communications. And um, it's got a very interesting organization and I'm um, doing a lot of things. We're having another company called Amandebele Ketu, uh, which I'm doing the same thing, uh, communication. So I'm the one in charge, who must I hire, who must I fire, who does the marketing, who does that. So it's mm -hmm. nice. I enjoy being a boss, you know, it's nice. I love it. And the, um, I'm having a very nice team that I work with. Um, they're very nice. They're very understanding, regardless of the fact that they're older than me. They respect me. They're not saying that, you know, because you're young, you can't give us instructions. You can't tell us this, you can't tell us that. I appreciate each and every day that I have right now. And then lastly, maybe to close, before you ask me further questions about myself, I think I'm happy now. Mm, I managed to buy my family another bigger house, nicer one, and buy myself another one. And, you know, all that pain, it's all gone. You know, life is better, life is good, and I still believe I'll do better you know, um, help other people. I'm also looking after three other children that are just picked because their parents died. And um, it's a lot. You know, they call me Mother Teresa, uh, not because of whatever, but they're just being sarcastic. But I don't have a problem with that, you know, because I know how it is to sleep in the street and I know how it is to suffer. So I wouldn't want anyone to go through the same thing. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, that was Simbali. Sisanda. Sisanda. And go, go, me.